All right, so when it's cold outside, it's a good time to relax next to a warm fire, you know, like a cozy restaurant, you know, good meal with friends. Sounds so good. Well, we have just the place for you to go, and it will give you all those cozy up north vibes, mm. but you don't need to leave the D. Michelle Oliver is taking us to Brownstown to dine in the D at a place called Big Bear Lodge. At Big Bear Lodge, the fire is a place to gather and enjoy a good meal, but it's also how they like to cook their meals, like their fire roasted chicken and their wood fired pizzas. When it's your passion, that's what you do, and our passion is food. I love to bake, my husband likes, loves to cook, and it's just become part of our lives. Lucky for us, Mary and her husband Dennis found their passion early in life. So my husband started a restaurant across the street from Big Bear when he was 21 years old. He's a very young man. He's been working and doing that restaurant for 44 years. And about midway through his career, he was ready to make a change. So in 2001, they opened up Big Bear Lodge. We knew we wanted to name it kind of something up northish. We came up with the name Big Bear Lodge uh, because my husband's kind of a big guy and he kind of seems like a big bear. We enjoyed going up north to Charlevoix uh, since we were kids. We individually picked out all of the items that you see in the restaurant. Uh, some of the items are from our grandparents. Uh, we have an Ev Evan Rude motor box. What we enjoy is the peace and tranquility and the coziness of being up north and the less hectic life. And we decided to bring that down to south of Detroit. In terms of food, they have eclectic American fare with everything from pastas to tacos. We have prime rib and it is excellent because it's cooked on the wood fire. Everything that's on the menu is homemade because that's what we believe in. We believe in the freshest from the plate out. Today, we're going to make one of their favorites, apple almond stuffed chicken. We begin by making the stuffing. First, we, um, we want to lightly saute the apples. What kind of apples do you guys use? Uh, uh, delicious apples. Just the bread delicious? Yes. Your standard apple. To the apples, we add some brown sugar, cinnamon, nutmeg, and some salt and pepper. I actually heard it's a good idea to salt from up high so that it spreads Spread out, out evenly. Oh, okay, yes. good. I have, I have a professional saying I'm correct. Then come some sliced almonds and golden raisins. Once it's done cooking, we add it to a cream cheese and goat cheese mixture, and we mix it with our hands. We add in some breadcrumbs as well. I feel like I could eat just the filling of this thing. So as he mixes, I pound out the chicken breast. Is that good? That's good. That's fun. Take your anger out. All right. The filling is then cooled and made into a log, like this, which we lay down in the center of the chicken breast. Roll it. Like that? Yep, just like that. All right. Like a little happy burrito. <laughs> we then bread the chicken in a three-part process with flour, eggs, and panko breadcrumbs. Panko is such a nice breadcrumb. It, it's just so crispy and light. After we brush the chicken with some seasoned olive oil, we put it in the wood-fired oven to cook. It's served with a side of sauteed veggies and sweet potato mash. It's a warm and homey meal for a warm and homey place. Yum. <laughs> Well, joining us today in studio is Mary Camaretta. Camaretta, she is one of the co-owners of the Big Bear Lodge. Thank you for being with us, Mary. Thank you for having us. Very uh, so, tell us about this wonderful spread. So many different items you have on your menu. Yes, our restaurant offers a, a little bit of everything for everyone. Yes. Um, and what Michelle did was the uh, apple almond chicken. We have that here. We have our roasted pork loin roasted in our uh, ro wood-fired oven. We have a minute chicken named because it's a takes a minute to cook. Wow. We have our lemon shrimp pasta. We have our lakeside whitefish, which is whitefish from Lake Superior. Very nice. We have a salmon spinach power bowl, which everybody loves to stay healthy. We have Mary's super salad named after me, but Dr. Oz gets the credit. Dr. <laughs> Oz, nine superfoods. Wow. We have Mary's camp mix named after me because that's what I've served my husband for over 30 years. We have Maytag blue cheese chips, and yes, that is the Maytag uh, wow. farm in Iowa. We have stuffed mushrooms, 
charcuterie plate. And the best part is for last, it's our desserts. We have our four layer carrot cake, all homemade in house. Goodness. We have our blueberry bread pudding, all made in house. We have our Saunders hot fudge cream puff. We still do get Saunders hot fudge. We have our apple caramel pie. And then we also have our famous four layer chocolate cake. So many different options and just that good, you know, home cooking kind of food. Very that, cozy. Yes, cozy food. So let's talk about the fact that you have two restaurants and you've had them for over 15 years. What's the key to your success? I think our key to, to our success is our passion for food and our passion for making people happy after they've eaten their meal. Yes, and you guys, um, you do holiday parties? Yes, we do holiday parties. We do baby showers, bridal showers, wedding rehearsals. We've done weddings there. We do memorial luncheons, all sorts of things. And do you still have space for the holidays? We have some limited space for okay. the holidays. What about New Year's? New Year's, we do a one hour call ahead. So you, if you wanted to come for New Year's, you would call us an hour before you're planning on coming in. We don't take reservation New Year's. We fill up fast. As you know, it's one of the busiest holidays of the year. And joining us now, Jason, he knows good food when he and, sees it. And Woodrow. <laughs> and Woodrow, I yes. I knows my way in here because I, I, you know, doing this a long time, and I can always tell the quality of a restaurant by the kind of presentation and that fastidious way that they set it up beforehand on the table. This mm -hmm. is one of the best presentations I've ever seen yes. on TV. So. And it smells so good, especially when you guys were cooking back there. I was mm -hmm. like, Oh my goodness. Um, so remind our viewers where you are located. So we're located on Telegraph Road, just south of West Road in Brownstown Township. And uh, I have to ask you, in all of your travels as a United flight attendant, do you ever come back with a recipe that you found in another city and think, I can put that in my restaurant? Uh, yes, very often I do. And then my husband works his magic and twists it so that it becomes signature for us. Oh, very cool. Well, thank you so much, Mary, for thank joining you. us and this amazing food. Can't wait to try it. And also, you could have a chance to try it, too. If you want to try out the Big Bear Lodge, we are giving away 10 $30 gift cards for your chance to win. Go to our Live in the D Facebook page or the contest page at clickondetroit.com. We've also started a Dine in the D group on Facebook. Please join it to see all of the places that we get to cover. Get suggestions on places to eat out and share your favorite meals from local eateries. If you love food, we'd love to have you join.